Hey everyone, it's GamerKev. So I, let me just double check here. Yep. Okay. I am. <laughs> oh, I want to get that. Okay. Hey everyone, it's GamerKev. So I um, wanted to maybe go through the construction set for Oblivion with you. <laughs> Um, people are making mods for it all the time. I gotta really, in my gameplay eventually, will show up um, an awesome. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oblivion. Boom. An awesome cave texture replacer, which is sweet. Um, but there's so many new things. Like, uh, Publix, Publix. These are, well, they're hot now, but new this week. 18 mods new this week. See? Um, give me. Yeah. Your mama. Come here. Yeah. All right. Uh, ooh, powerful luck potions. That is an awesome. Look at that. No, that's an awesome screenshot. I like screenshots. I gotta learn how to make them. But I got one just this week. I thought. Um. Nope. I guess it's none of these. Trending this week, latest, popular 30 days. Yeah, High Fantasy Cyrodiil Caves. That's what I got. So I'll be getting that. I'll be having that in there. But look! Yeah! <laughs> That's gorgeous. It's already dark in there, but it'll be darker. <laughs> Mine are currently Carl's Texture Pack uh, 3, Redomized. Um, so they will, they look good already, but I kind of like, and we'll see if this lighting is going on. I don't know, but also I have the summer EMB on, so it may not be, but maybe they have an EMB. That's another thing. You might go check when you look at these things. Nope. It doesn't say. Nope. It doesn't say if they have an EMB on or not, but it looks good, right? It looks good. So I noticed in the past that there are when I was trying to learn how to mod and everything that there were not that many mod tutorials on on YouTube there may be now I, there may be now but I noticed when there were I couldn't understand them that well or maybe they weren't spoken and just text and the truth is I'm trying to watch what people are doing uh so it's actually good for them to talk me through it and also let me watch what they're doing instead of watch their text and watch what they're doing. So um, I, if this helps at all and you want to spruce up your game with some new hairs or just be really picky and choosy like I am, I'm picky and choosy so I've added hairs and eyes but different hairs and different eyes <laughs> for different races and um, I don't know, it's pretty fun. And it makes you learn the construction set. So um, I hope to one day learn the creation kit. That's another thing. But I'm in, I'm in oblivion right now. So we're going to do this. Um, okay. So I went ahead and picked this uh, replacer. I like most everything. Except that I already made my own replacer for hairs with Cool Sims hair and... Kazi and Kiyuko hairs, uh, which are awesome looking. Um, I will, but I actually really like a few of these. So I'm going to show you. Let's look at this guy. Yes. <laughs> let's change it. I like it. <laughs> okay. So let's do this one. And then um, there's another one. This one right here. I like this. I don't have this anymore. But I'm going back to Oblivion, or I'm going back to Vanilla Oblivion Hairs, so you can, see, or Vanilla OCO Oblivion Hairs, so you can see this again, probably. Uh, sorry, I pointed this again, probably. Um, there's that, and then there's probably one other we'll do if I can do it. I like all these. There's so many of these I like. I really like this. I might put these in my game. I do have a dreadlock replacer, but it would be sweet to have a chick feel, sorry, a lady <laughs> dreadlock replacer. Sorry, I can't speak. Uh, as well as a, a male. So we could do this ones for the females, and then we could do leave the long dreadlocks for the guys. 
Um, because yeah, I always feel like it makes, I like them looking not the same and I'm going to do this for clothing as well, but you can really do for replacers. You can do this for any hairs, eye, hairs, eyes, clothes, you know, whatever. It pretty much goes the same way. Um, oh, that was it. This. I don't like this very much. It kind of reminds me of when, well, not this, but like this bit when your flyaways hang out. Um, that gets on my nerves when it happens to be in life. So let's not, let's not. Also, I gave, um, I didn't like the ponytail I downloaded that much. Um, it looks cool on some people, but on most people it didn't look that cool because of their head shape. So let's go to this one. All right, so let, let me see if I can remember those three things. So I had to manual download. Um, I don't actually know. I can't always remember my Nexus password. So keeping Mod Organizer logged in is kind of a challenge for me. It doesn't seem to like it when I do it. So I'm working through Mod Organizer, but I will explain also how to put it in your data folder. The data folder is easier as well, I mean, comparatively, on the front end, it's easier. Mod organizer is more work on the front end, but also you're not putting things in your data folder, so uh, which is also great. Um, so, if you're putting it in your Oblivion data folder, most likely your folder is here um, in your C drive. They do recommend, and on my old computer, I've heard this. If you want to use maybe OCO or OCO. If you want to use Oblivion Script Extender, OBSE, I think they recommend not to put this, not to put Oblivion in your program files folder. Maybe it's this one. So I put, I just made C and then put Oblivion out here. Um, if you have Steam, Steam will be probably in your program files. I have one, I think, but it's like a... No, I guess I don't. Because I put Steam over here. So, um, on my solid state, um, so basically it looks the same no matter when you find steam, steam, steam apps, common, and then pick your game oblivion. Here's your data folder. If you haven't used the construction set before and you want to find it, it should be right here. It should be included with all the game files. I don't remember having, I think once upon a time I had to download it from somewhere, but now I think it just comes with the game, especially if you download it through Steam. So, or if you've got it on disc, I think it has its own disc. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. So your data file, you would just go in here what we're going to do to be able to access the files, you would take these two. You don't need this because that's his mod. We're going to make our own. So um, you would take them, cop, drag them over into your data file, which maybe it's better to drag it over into here. And it'll ask you, do you want to maybe merge your folders, your two meshes, because meshes is already in here for me and textures is already in here for me because I have a few other mods. I think I put the, I couldn't get one of them to work through Mod Organizer, but I try to very rarely put mods in here because I don't want it to mess up my data folder. But this one's easy. I know uh, what, you know, I know exactly that there's only this one mod messing it up except for the OBS, OBSE stuff. And then out here, the rest of it is my EMB stuff and my OBSE stuff. All right, so an Oblivion Mod Manager, because some things need that. <sighs> okay, so for my my people who are using a uh, Mod Organizer, uh, like I am, go in tier wherever you put it. I don't use Mod Organizer 2 for this game. I did. Um, Oops, I did one time. Oh, there it is. Ah, I did. That's my Skyrim stuff. I did for what at one time because um, I thought I could for Oblivion, but I do. You can for Scala, uh, Skyrim and Fallout, but 
I found some things in OBSC don't like to work with Mod Organizer 2. So um, I had a trouble doing that. So I went and found Mod Organizer 1. They don't call it that. I think it's just Mod Organizer. And it's very difficult to see <laughs> which one's which, I feel like. So just look for the older version of Mod Organizer on its own page. Let's see if we can find that right now. I don't want to take too long doing this because if I get lost, you know, Nexus. Mod organizer under oblivion. Oh, this is an old one, isn't it? Oh, I think it's the same. Let's look. I think it is the same. I just have my dark theme on. But here you go. I feel like that is very old, though. Um, let's go look. Uh, Nexus mods. Mod organizer. I just didn't know it was around that long. I think it's this dark one. Not mod organizer 2. And not this old one, I guess. But mod organizer. By Tannen. Uh see so much going on here but it's definitely not more there it is this is the one I downloaded mod organizer 2 the dark looking theme and I have my dark theme on good this one's a predecessor I guess oh and it was for Fallout New Vegas okay well cool all right um, there's that to get this out of the way so you drag this so you're gonna go to mod organizer I named it mod organizer one because I have all these mod organizers in the same that mod organizer is two but it's very confusing so um, and I made this file I think so I named it mod organizer one so I know what's what I you go in there go into mods now what we're gonna do to bring these in here we are going to make a new folder uh, replacer OCOV2 hair. Um, how about that? New hair for OCOV2 and And I'm going to add um, new hair for OCOV2, Kef Tut. So I know that I'm making a tutorial. When I'm done with this, I probably won't want um, want this. <laughs> I'm going to put this into my, I have this other one that I call NPC Beautification Kef. That's the one where you see the purple eyes and all the cool Sims hair and the Kazi Kiyoko hairs. So. Um, but for now, we're going to use replacer, um, or say whatever, call it whatever you want. So we're going to drag the meshes and texture files over here, and this will be so that the construction set can find them. If you don't have Mod Organizer 2, construction set can find your data folder. Um, but if you do have a um, Mod Organizer, then the construction set can find your Mod Organizer files, I believe. I believe I didn't have to do anything for it to be able to find the files. I think it just knows. All right, so we're going to go into Mod Organizer. If you're opening the construction set, go to your data folder. Without Mod Organizer, go to your data folder. Oh, go to your Oblivion folder, not into data. Sorry. Construction set will be there at the bottom. Test construction set. Um, and if you're going through Mod Organizer, pick construction set from your executables. If you don't know how to put it in your executable listing, um, Gopher has, if you don't really know how to use Mod Organizer but you want to, Gopher has a really good YouTube um, tutorial playlist on how to do it. I Just sit down and watch it and go through that. Um, it's very good, very um, well explained, and... I don't know. I watched it. It, it taught me a lot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pick construction set and we're going to hit run.
Mm -hmm. This can take a bit depending on how old your computer is. Mine's on my solid state drive, so it's a little bit faster, even though I've taken a lot of room up on my solid state for games that I don't play except for a couple. Really, I just play Oblivion because I've been playing Skyrim on the Xbox for now until I learn how to mod it. Um, okay, so the Oblivion ESM, that's the master, your game file, it's always going to be here. And if you have no mods, it's the only, it's the only one that will show up. Um, so you're going to click it. Oh, you know what? There's something I forgot. So what we're going to do, close out of this. I keep getting stuck at this one point, <laughs> so I've recorded it a few times. But what we're going to do in Mod Organizer, before you open this up, um, I you are going to go in to install a new mod from an archive. Boom. Then get your lore friendly replacer. Oh, and you can see that because you put your mod folder in there and you named it, it shows up now. I'm not clicking it because it doesn't have any SP. It won't really do any good. There's nothing in it yet. So we're not going to mess with it right now. All right, so right now we are going to install from your download folder or wherever you have it, Lore Friendly Replacer for default hair. I'm going to put this Lore Friendly Replacer for O-C-O-V, sorry, two default hair because I will forget what hair it was for. Like, because of all these, I will forget. All right, and then uh, you can hit okay, but sometimes mods are not lined up correctly to install. Sometimes there's a big folder that says lore friendly hair, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna hit manual so we see. So sometimes there's a lore friendly hair and it doesn't say data. And then it only knows to look for the data file. So um, it's like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, <laughs> so it'll give you some kind of error. When you see, like click into the drop downs and when you see data, set data directory, boom. If it says, like if it says red, then set, you know, right click, set data directory. And then it should say looks good once it can find everything in there. Even if it's not meshes textures, y'all though make sure meshes and textures are in there. If they're not in there and they're like outside with the date, you know, or outside the data file for some weird reason, they shouldn't be. But drag you can drag and drop. Put them in there. Alright. Oh, and sometimes there's like meshes out here that are optional and sometimes, te you know, meshes and textures out here that are optional. Go click through and find the ones you want and drag them up here and put them in the right folders. It takes time and you got to figure out what you're looking at. Um, if you do want to, let me see if I can open something for you. If you do want to take a look at your files that are in here to figure out what they are, you will need NIF scope. Um... scope spelled like that I don't know which I think it can open I think all of them can open all of them but it's at the NIF tools NIF tools source word site you'll go and or github possibly too. just go and download it no I don't know yeah download NIF scope that works that works for me and most likely it can out it can open most of your NIF files it might not be the exact right version but try it. All right. Um, then I'm going to try to open, see if I can do it for me. There it is. There's the hair. So if you're not sure what hair you're looking at, you can go in and open things up. I don't know much of how to use this beyond that. I know a little bit, but not much. Like I want to learn eventually how to take pieces off of armor so you can have like midriffs and all that good stuff. But uh, Or you don't have your high collars, you can have like a normal collar, something like that. But for now, I don't know how to do that. You can just look here and make sure you got the right hair. You can check and uncheck the things that you want to add and don't want to. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and install all of it. And um, we need to check it for now. That if you don't check it, it won't show up in your um, in here. All right, so we're gonna run. 
I hope all this makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of information. Most of using the construction set is hunting and pecking for things. Um, but it's fun and it makes you learn it. So, okay. Or it could be fun if it shows up in your game right, let's say. <laughs> All right, here we go again. We're going to do this. Um, so double click that to check it. Never set it as the active file, but later when you get into modding and you say you want to mess around with this and add something else, you know, you could check it. Like you want to mess with this file specifically and change something about it. You could check it, set it as the active file, and then hit OK. Any changes you make will save back to this and um, will save back to this and change it. Um, but for now, we don't want to change this. We want to add, we want to make our own standalone because right now we would have to use this mod, um, but we don't want to. We want to make our own. So we're going to uncheck it and it's no longer active. Make sure this isn't activated or anything. Okay, good. Okay. If you check other mods in there, you can, but um, I would recommend not. If you want your own mod to not have to require things. Like whenever you go to something on line, let me see if I can find you something. Sorry, I've been looking for a lot of outfits now. Um, There it is. Okay, this is one of the dresses I got for one of my countesses. This one, you will see that it requires all of these things. So if you want to add BBP, you have to make it, uh, you have to check the maximum compatibility skeleton, like find it in this list and check it if you want to, if it's weighted, if you've gone to the trouble of learning how to weight it and everything, you, you need to check it and make it dependent on that. And then you need to tell your modders that that's, or you just need to know for yourself that you can never use this mod without using that or without yeah, without having your skeleton in or installed. That's when the boobs like stretch across the room, you know. Um, I'm sure there's other things that stretch across rooms. I just only have the boobs going right now. So, cool. All right, so character, hair. Red guard, frizzy. And we're gonna go into, if you forget, you can go back to your download folder and see meshes, characters, cart is what we're looking for, then hair, then afro. Meshes, characters, and because we checked, there's cart, because we checked it out in mod organizer, because we checked that mod, cart shows up now. Hair, afro, boom, there's that. Now we need to find the texture that goes along with. So we've got the mesh, the clay piece, and then um, we want the sheen of the hair, the color of the hair is in the texture, a DDS file. Um, so NIF files are the meshes, DDS are the textures. Character? Nope. I think it's characters with an S. All of my stuff is in here. This is all like, um, oh, actually, that's all my MBP++ all-in-one stuff. It's very messy to look at, right? Um, textures. Character or characters? Let's hope this I can find this. Textures, characters, lowercase. Boom. And we're looking for cart. There he is. And, oh, what is it? What is it? Okay. Um, I don't know which one it is. So what we're going to do then, when we were in Mod Organizer, this is probably not advisable, but uh, when we were in there, I'm going to unlock this really fast. This is not the best. I don't think this is the best idea to unlock, but... I do it sometimes. So we're going to go look at this file tree. We're going to go look at this character cart hair. 
afro nif open now one way you can figure out what the texture is nif tri shape i'll just open these guys texturing property and you are looking for mk hair cloud 9 afro small um it usually would have the it might have like textures blah 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 but it doesn't this time so hopefully it will find itself i'm sure it will um the mod creator tends to know what they're doing um so nk cloud 9 and there was a cloud 9 folder so we're gonna go look at that let's hope that this all saves correctly since i unlocked it cloud 9 afro this is all the stuff like hairline I don't know what HH is, and this is the sheen on it. I'll show you. Open. Oh, it can't. It's supposed to, basically, if you open it, it's like the age maps. If you were to open something that has an underscore N after it, it's like a purple file with like dark, you know, like shadowing. It's the shadows. It's the shadows, and also it's the shininess of something. All right. Um, we're going to open Afro. So there's that. We're going to get OK. Boom. And because we did some work on this, we are going to save this. Save. And it, notice it makes a new ESP file. So what we're going to make it now is, what did I name this thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I named it anymore. So replacer new hair for OCO2 replacer new hair for OCO2 let's, let's just copy that boom alright boom alright good alright so it's named the same thing and hit save now it will show up in the list and you can check it and you can set it as the active file if you want to add more so let's go ahead and add a couple more hairs and then we'll go check out in game and see if we can see it. All right, so another thing I want to change, top knot, I think is what it was called. Top knot. Orc top now, but I want I want to um, that's tough. Is it? Oh, it's dark elf top knot. Probably, probably that. Okay, so let. Oh, it's a female top knot. It's only for females. Is there anything for males I want to change? Yeah. Pulled knot. A high elf bun pulled knot. And that's female. I want it to be a dude hairstyle as well. Quick knot. That's female only. You know what? We're going to make it a new hairstyle. So what we're going to do... This is a double, double whammy. <laughs> okay. New. Name it whatever you want. Um, elf. Male. Elf. Male. Top. Not. Don't put any spaces in because I think it'll just take them out. Top. Not. For elves, male elves, male elves. Because I don't know, maybe it would look good on a female, but I actually was thinking of a male for that one, like in the picture. So let's go ahead and add our NIF file. Characters. Oh no, it's card, isn't it? Car. Yeah, characters. Cart. Hair. And it's top knot modified. Open. Now with this, I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna go back, go back and look. Boop. 
meshes, characters, cart, hair, and we'll go look at top knot modified. Nif open. I've got mine set to open with uh yes, that's beautiful. It could be good on a girl, but it's kind of samurai. -y. I want it for a male. Yep. Do you hear me? I want it for a male. <laughs> okay. Textures. Car See, this is what I'm used to. Textures, characters, nuska, hair, new gray. Ooh, it's a nuska. Okay. All right. Nuska is the one who made OCO. So it's basically using one of her textures, which is cool. Um, but it, they probably put it into the mod, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go find it. Characters. I have OCO and you will have OCO, so it's probably here under Nuska you could find it. Hair. New gray. So, um, but what we're going to do to make it easy and make it not have to cross, because if you don't, either way, it should be fine because this, these hairs are for OCO too. You wouldn't put it on vanilla heads because most likely the hairs wouldn't fit. So, but we're going to, just to make sure it's a completely standalone mod, we're going to go back to cart where it belongs, you know, where it is. Please say it's in here. <laughs> oh, you know what? It doesn't. I guess he didn't put them in here. I'm going to look around a minute. I guess he didn't put it in here because it is a mod for OCO. So we're just going to look around to make sure. But if it ever points you outside, it might be pointing, just make sure it's pointing to like a vanilla hair or um, a mod that you're all definitely going to have because if not, then... Um, you won't have it and then your character will show up probably with a black so if it's with the mesh only you have the nif file only but not the texture then it will show up a black piece of flat clay you know um, if you don't have a mesh or a texture then it will show up bald they'll, they'll, they'll be bald or whatever piece of clothing or whatever is going to be like invisible or purple yeah, it could be purple if it's missing the texture. Okay, so we are going down to Nuska because that's what Nifscope said to do. And it's hair, Nuska, hair, new gray, open. So there it is. And it's showing up okay. Okay. And we're going to save it. One more. Character. Oh, for this one, actually, let's... Okay, keep this open. We're going to go find the hair. What did I say it was called? Elf. Male. Top knot. Okay, we're going to take this. Basically, what I want... So you're going to go to Character, Race, and over here, Body Data. You can pull eyes and pull any kind of hair or any kind of eyes over when you go to race, character, eyes, you know, or whatever, anything. Hair, eyes, it's all the same. You can pull it all over here. You can put them in Argonian. You can go down to Breton, put them in Breton, you know, put it in Dark Elf. But Dark Elf, I want this Elf male top elf, or Elf male top knot for them. So I'm going to put it in their hairstyle. If you go all the way to the bottom, there it is. I want this for high elf. Oh, did it pull? Nope, that happens sometimes. Boop, boom. Over in hairstyles, it's there. Yes, it is. Um, and then I want it for those adorable little wood elves. <laughs> okay. They can be adorable and they can be creepy. It doesn't matter. But I think OCO makes them kind of cute. All right, so oh, Mel Top Knot, there it is, and we're gonna hit OK for that, and that say, and then save it for them. Oh, I can't, not while this is open. Okay, okay, save it. All right, and then character hair again, and we are going to change. Find that ponytail. Ponytail, ponytail. Okay, I think this is it. it can be male, female either one. So we're going to go ahead and it is characters. 
and to you know bring in new eyes it's the same just find the eyes that you want bring it over to um you know either your mod organizer mods folder or your data folder meshes and textures like copy it over and then go find it in here um and then remember the path name <laughs> so uh you can set your own path name but i'm doing it here so meshes characters cart hair and the other one we wanted what is this thing called it should just be ponytail i hope garot ponytail remor uh ponytail uh can i open that open yep that's the one yay it's it just is really helpful if you just set your default uh program you know your default app to open up is nifscope once you have it um okay there we go open oh when i was in there i should have okay let's go look at it when i was in there i should have look to see what it's called all right open this the nodes texturing property go look at this and it is lovely Geralt diff DDS lovely Geralt diff DDS okay oh wait characters cart lovely Geralt diff not for Dramora because that's their special head and their horns see if we can find Geralt Diff without Dramora. Where are you? Where are you? Oh no. Sometimes this happens. I don't see it. Base. It's not base, is it? I'm gonna go look again. I'm gonna go look again. It might be Dramora, but I don't, I don't, it might be Dramora. I don't think so though. Um, uh, let's go ahead and look in here. They're the same, you know, cause you copied your stuff over. Cart, hair, Geralt, ponytail, open the NIF file, and it'll have this NIF scope thing by it if you've, if you've associated it. Um, let's open it. Okay. All right. Textures, character, cart, lovely girl, diff, DDS. And so if it's not there, that's no good. Um, I am going to do a little bit of a... I'm a little nervous about this. But I'm might I'm gonna line it up with Remora. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. And actually let me go back here. Um one last thing before I go into game. I'm gonna check this. Oh! Nusco was there. Oh wait, oh it put a Nusco file in. So you should have a Nusco file. Okay, good. Whenever we had to use new gray new gray it put he put the nuska file into the mod which is great so you don't need it to be it will not be uh dependent on the oco that's great to know all right where is Geralt diff that makes me a little nervous what is base i have a dds viewer um it's called infra infra infan view or er, fan view <laughs> Go look this up and and download it. Let me see here. Er fan view download. Boom. Er fan view. And it has little kitties. Kitty puzzle pieces. And it'll let you look at the textures. Um 
That looks like it couldn't be wrong, although I don't know how textures line up, so the truth is it could be so wrong. So we're not going to use it, we're going to use Dramora, and we'll go into the game and look at it. Open. Okay. We will know if it's not going to work, because it will be very clear when we get in game. Alright, so I saved it, and I'm closing it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to load up an Oblivion game. Um, I will see you in just a second. Let me double check. It's going to pause. See you in a second. One thing I did forget to say, though, before we go in game, um, back here in your uh, mod organizer, make sure to check this. If it's in your date, this will have saved in your Oblivion data folder. If you put it in your data folder, it will have just saved and it'll be there. So when you open Oblivion, if you use um, any sort of mod organizer or mod manager, make sure that that's checked in there. If I'm going to go here and run this real fast. Oh, wait. Oh, there's one other thing for. Um, yeah, okay. There's one other thing for these guys who use Mod Organizer. Make sure you'll notice that this errored out. And if you go look, um, there are files in your Overwrite Mod. Go down here to Overwrite. It's in red, very hard to see. Um, but it's there at the bottom of all your mods. And then pull this over here. Oh, pull this over here. Boom! Now we have an ESP for our mod, and it will show up in game. Because if I hadn't done that, it wouldn't have shown up. I, I don't know what to do with the backup folder. I delete them, and it's probably terrible. So um, if you figure out what to do, feel free to leave me a comment and tell me what to do with it. I could probably put it in my mod file, file but I don't. <laughs> so, okay. So here we go. Let's launch. Now my game's going to look different from normal. I'm going to pick an old game. I'll just leave you here. I won't pause again. I'll make sure that... Oh, I guess you're not going to... Alright. Make sure... Okay, good. You can see this. Actually, I will have to shadow play it. <laughs> I made this so complicated for myself. <laughs> okay. Um... So all your stuff that's checked here, and I guess it's in there somewhere. Uh, what did I call it? Replacer? New hair for OCO V2. Kev Tut. You'll want to make sure in your stuff that that is checked. Um, I'm going to see if it did it anyway. You know what? It couldn't hurt. Just let's check it. Okay. So um, I will put you on pause here. And then I will load up Shadow Play in a sec. Or I won't put you on pause. I'm just going to stop recording because I have them be the same, the same key to start recording in both programs. So once I, I'm in the game, I'll record and show you how it ended up or what's going on. Hey, so one very important thing that I forgot was that in the construction set, so here we go, back in Mod Organizer, and run it. Oh, this is nothing in this case. Um, whenever I, I have stuff that shows up each and every time for OBSC, and I don't drag it each and every time, because it happens every time I start the game, and that's a lot. I think it's to do with menu K or whatever. I, it's for like some mod that I'm not using right now. Um, We're going to run it. One thing you need to do, we put that new hairstyle in, right? And we gave it to a race. So it's possible for that race to have the hairstyle, but they're not going to unless you give it to someone, particularly. So, okay, so we're going to turn on ESM. And now that we have our replacer, set that as the active file. Let me make sure that that is the one I made. Yep, and that's really far. I shouldn't have pulled it that far. Okay, so, um, okay. Now, any changes that we save will go back to this mod file. 
And the truth is you can do this with armor, clothing, as replacers. You can do it with any of it. And and also as additions, you know, eyes, hair, armors, clother, clothing, you've got everything. The only thing is for armor and clothing, you find it over here. So say you wanted to replace lower class sh- pants one, lower class pants one for females only. Go find it, you know, where we put it. We put it in our um, data file if you don't have Mod Organizer. And if you have our Mod Organizer 1, put it in your um, your meshes and textures into, for the thing that you want, into the Mod Organizer mods file in a new folder of your own naming, okay? And then you'll go in here and then you'll find it and then replace it and then hit OK. And then whoever was wearing this uh, lower pants one as a female or whichever one you choose to replace, that will change their clothes. You don't have to go change them in game. So it's pretty sweet. All right, so pretty much that teaches you everything. Uh, We might make another uh, video doing it again, just in case, like with something else. But actually, I did more in this video than I thought I was going to do. So Uh, replacing and adding it all right so there's the there's that Um, but as far as putting it on people we made that hairstyle the top knot for dark elf males high elf males and wood elf males and I'm going to only pick a like say one well okay let's pick it for most guys in the Okay, we'll, we'll pick a few guys, but only in the market district so we can find them easily. All right, so males. See if I can remember anyone. What dark elf male shows up sometimes? Actually, you know what? Not a dark elf male. He doesn't come to... He doesn't come there very much. Um, high elf male. Is there a high elf male in the Imperial City market district all the time? All the time. This is tough because you have to remember who is where, and I don't right now. Uh, Calendil is one, I think. All right, so um, for him, you would find his hair because we gave it to him. Elf male top knot. Look at his head. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot I did some uh I did some let's fix this. Okay, so if you ever want to go in and fix their faces or whatever or make them different, this is like not a good you should make your own mod reshaping their faces. Um you know, independent of this mod, which you can. Um just uncheck this once you're down here. Uh okay, let's do this now. Um okay, we give him this. But give me a second. Calendil, I'm pretty sure, is in the Imperial City. Now, a wood elf male we know is the Imperial City is... What the H is his name? What the H is that guy's name? Thornier. Woo! All right, Thornier. What do we have? Ah, uh, he's actually pretty cute. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Okay, um, no, we didn't do eyes, we did hair, so elf male ho- top knot. Yeah, yeah, see, he looks good, and he looks good in the construction set, too, so good for you, Thornier. Okay, save it. Boom. All right, so dark elf males. There are some that come around sometimes, but since no one lives in the market district, I'm not going to mess with it right now. So we're just going to save those so that we know that it worked. Save your mod. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to 
uncheck this as the active file and we're going to reopen this with no other mods checked. Oh, you know what? Why my guys look so good is because it's probably carrying over from Handsome Gents because in my game, Handsome Gents is active. That's right. They would look a lot freakier in the construction set, although a lot of this could be new Skazosio too. I haven't seen them without Handsome Gents on in quite a long time. So, um, all right. So one person we're going to fix here is, um, who did I just look at? High Elf Male. Calendil. So if you want to change his hair, and we'll have to make sure that this mod is after, or is before the High Elf Knot. Because if you go in and make a new mod and that mod isn't checked, uh, Elf Male Top Knot is missing. And that's just how the game goes, because the game doesn't know about that except for your mod. So um, let's look. All right, the only thing I want to fix really here is maybe you can completely go crazy and like hit the generate button until you like what you see but I think for now the only thing we're gonna do because that's really cartoony you don't really see I mean you kind of see it in life but mostly people have jaws you know they have jaws so let's go down to uh, jaw neck slope boom Nope, that's lower. Boom. Boom. Why? <laughs> there. There. That's a little more normal, isn't it? I don't know. I think he's different. So in his case, what I would probably do is go, is do the generate thing. Boom. Oh, God, look at that. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> All right, so he would have been really grumpy and stuff otherwise. I don't know if that, maybe it's what makes RBF is like the features, you know, like if, you're, if your brow is set like this and your mouth is set like that, you're going to look grumpy. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Okay, so but he's fine. I, I think this is fine. Uh, let's give, uh, green eyes is okay. It's going to be vanilla eyes because I haven't, I don't have my replacer on. Hit okay. Now we're going to save it. Say you save it and you didn't, yeah, you're going to save it and it's going to be like, what? What do you want this mod to be called? So, um, Calendil Regen. Okay. Tut. And so I know that I'm going to get rid of this in a bit. All right. So that's good. That's everything. Um, we're going to get out of here. Everything saved. It's easy, like, it's easy to just be like, oh, I want to do this while I'm in here, and then make a completely new mod, which is nice. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Files in my overwrite mod, and backup, Calendule. Oh, so this already has its own mod, so just drag and drop it. Now this, these things, I'm going to leave the backup alone for now, but what you're going to do is create mod calendil calendil replace kef ah sorry can't type kef tut all right so boom but and it has its own esp but in mod organizer and also in your normal data folder what you're going to want to do is make sure that this the replacer shows up because the new hair will show up on him then too. Ah! Yeah, yeah, no, that works, that works, okay. So put Calendil Regen because that's his face and then this replacer for new hairs does not touch the face. So his face and his hair will be redone when we go look at him. All right, so I will see you in game and we'll go take a look at these guys that we fixed, okay? With the, we That we gave them the hair and fixed. All right, bye. <laughs> and Okay, uh, here we are. We're checking out things. Oh, there's Thornier. It is good to see you again. So he's got the new hair we gave him. That's awesome. Please, <laughs> return soon. It's always a pleasure to see you. Yep, 
There he goes. And then also... What can I do for you? Okay, you don't have this hair. Who was it we gave it to? We gave the fro... Who is the fro? Who has the... You know what? I bet the... Hi there. Oh, man, I gotta fix their ankles. Um. What is it? Calendo. Calendo has one hairdo. You have my ear, citizen. I'm sticking podium. Oh. Oh, look how shiny those are. Uh, where are you? Where are you? He's gotta be in his house, right? Oh no, if I get him... Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Uh, it's not worth, like, getting arrested over. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is, so... Okay. Um... You know what? Screw it. We'll go first and see... Um... Owen, because that will take some time. Please... I will actually just... Stop it right here. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Tifa's gonna be running around in all her glory. Hey, what what's this? Ah, there's a ponytail Good to see. we did. There he is. There's a ponytail. That's great. There's number two. Alright, I'm gonna let you go and I'll pick you back up in just a second with Owen. I just can't have you see Tifa on the general YouTube channel because she has a new Okay. <laughs> see you in a second. Look at this! Yes, that is right. That is right. He doesn't have his whole like handsome Gen Z thing going on, but um, yeah, looks good. Boop. Look at you. You it's keep good. coming back for more. All right, warrior. You ready for a match? <laughs> no, I'm not, but I just wanted to show off your hairdo. All right. Gotta move on. Okay. Fanta oh, my bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, that is good. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>